Welcome back guys to another one. Today let's have a look at a very cool item from Noctua with a freshly released FD1 fan duct kit. This is basically an upgrade to their entire L9A top down 92mm air cooler, specifically in small form factor builds like the Dan A4SFX. So this is part 3 of more CPU cooling in the A4. Let's see it in action. If you are a small form factor build enthusiast, you'll know by now that many have did their own fan duct kit, either by 3D printing or any DIY method. So what's the deal with this? Basically the duct prevents the cooler from taking in hot air from the interior of the case since there will always be a gap between the fan and the perforated panel. Thus it enables it to draw in fresh air from the outside through the same panel, which can, depending on the setup, improve CPU temperatures by a few worthy degrees. Since Noctua already makes one of the most popular low-profile L coolers with their L9 series that are a perfect fit for the Dan A4SFX case, they decided to offer this matching fan duct kit as well. So here is the FD1. It retails for just 13 bucks and as you'd expect from Noctua, it's well thought over. The spaces are made from EVA foam of different thickness, thus it's fully modular and reusable. You get 7 foam spacers of different thickness from 10 to 3 mm and the easy way to differentiate them is to look at these grooves. Each one represents 1 mm. So if you do the math with the L9 coolers that are 37 mm tall in cases like the Dan A4SFX that offers 48 mm clearances, this kit is perfect to bridge that gap. A simple way to do it for any potential case is that you take the max cooler height that your case supports, then you subtract the actual cooler height and to that result you just add 1 or 2 mm to make a perfect fit. So for my Dan A4SFX case, I just took the 5 mm and the 7 mm spacers for 12 mm in total. The kit comes with these custom thumb screws that replace the stock securing bolts and on top of them you slide in these plastic support tubes that hold the actual foams. You get 16 of these that should last you many builds even if you cut them multiple times. Speaking of, when you cut them make sure you squeeze the foam a bit so there's like half a mil left before the tubes so it will not press directly against the side panel when closed. Suffice to say Noctua did a great job since it's the most premium looking solution out of the box so far for this type of setup. Now let's see if it actually does what it promises. Well, spoiler alert, it does exactly the advertised 5 degrees difference which proves that the concept really works. As you saw, all of this was done with the fan left on the Oro RPM and no other case fan was working. So if you ramp up the fan to maximum RPM, the difference should increase even higher. Also the same delta is applied even in a gaming scenario. Well, there you have it guys. For all intended purposes, this FD1 kit from Noctua really works. And if you are using any variation of the Noctua L9 cooler series, this kit is a quick and inexpensive upgrade. I mean 5 degrees doesn't sound like much in the overall spectrum, but in small form factor builds, every degree counts in my experience. Thanks for watching guys, please feel free to interact with any of the famous buttons, and I'll see you in the next one. Alex out. Which is an upgrade to their entire top down 92mm L9 A series. Let's just screw. Let's just screw. Let's just screw. Let's just screw.